Greetings, Rainbow Dragons of the New Earth 144 tribe, rising up through the sacred vortex of ascension, ready for liftoff. Aho! Today we had another powerful activation day with the freedom codes coming in. Also another galactic activation portal. Early this morning, we had a geomagnetic G1 class storm that rang the magnetic field like a sacred bell, like a s sacred drum. We also had coinciding a 50 hertz spike in the Schumann resonance, followed by 20 hertz into more calm. So with the 20 hertz, today April 20, 2020, the 222 energies manifesting from the angelic realm, the higher dimensions, connecting us directly to source. We're feeling this as we're resonating into the still center, the zero point energy, the singularity of the still white magnetic light at the center of all things. We also had many earthquakes, over 156 and 1.5 or greater. We had several movements in Japan again today, 4.6, 4.7, and 4.5 with the Lemurian energies, the divine feminine. We had a 4.5 in Tajikistan, and also Iceland had a 4.8. Several earthquakes in Puerto Rico, 3.4 and 3.0. Idaho, another earthquake at 3.0. Afghanistan, 4.1. Solomon Islands had another 5.2. Alaska, 4.0. But the most interesting one here, which resonated with our lineage in China, the furthest west on the border by Tian Shan, which resonated close to our sacred Kunlun Mountains, which is the lineage I teach. It's close to the point where the Himalayan and the Kunlun Mountains meet, just north of these sacred mountain ranges. That was a 4.4, which is synchronic with the Divine 44 my closest team in the 3D realm in this timeline. Argentina also had a 4.5 in, their, in the sacred mountain range of the Divine Feminine Condor in the Andes Mountains 4.5. With all these synchronicities and symbols, with the raising of the frequencies, the ascending of the resonance, we're feeling these in many ways through our sacred vessel through the body of Pachamama, as we are on the verge at the precipice of the quantum leap of consciousness from Homo sapien to Homo luminous, beings of light, true human, hue of the light of brilliant divine source, the brilliance of the diamond light body. Today's first transmission from Judith Cusell, the energies now are sky high with the Schumann resonance hitting all-time highs, and this is going to continue as we are now moving into the 5D at accelerated pace. With it, the ninth dimensional frequencies are pouring in with the seventh. This is incredible. It literally means that we are being spun out of the 3D and into the fifth and even higher. Those who cling to the 3D just will not make it anymore. The 3D is being spun out of the equation, for we now need to move into the 5D and higher by divine decree. A lot of souls will not wish to wake up. They have free will and choice. Allow them this. With it, we now need to be extra vigilant with our own energy fields, and we need to keep pace with the accelerated ascension. There are no options anymore. We cannot afford to lag behind. The accelerated pace is going to gain momentum in the next few weeks and months as this needs to lift us up into the frequency band of the harmonic conversion in 2021, which opened the portals of the floodgates of heaven to open up, literally lifting us into the 5D and now 7D, the frequency of the new golden age. It is therefore essential to keep your whole systems and energies free of fear and anxieties and stress. Trust that you will be taken care of. Trust that you will have more than enough. Trust that you are being carried through. Do the inner releasing work. Work through the old karmic stuff and the ancestral and collective baggage. 
allow all which no longer serves your highest soul growth and good, and disintegrate. Leave the old baggage and stuff behind. You do not need that in the new life now emerging. This is an immense shift, and we need to keep up with the pace. What a time to be alive and well on planet Earth. It is all happening. So much joy. JudithCousel.com And today from Maureen Moss, Freedom Codes. A massive influx of freedom codes began streaming into us and onto the planet Friday. On Saturday, I said to a friend of mine, I feel different as though I have no burdens, this being completely foreign to me. On Sunday, a downpour of freedom codes affected the greatest awakening to date for humanity and one of the greatest shifts for Gaia. These freedom codes, a gift from Source God, must be held so sacred in our hearts and maintained through every choice we make now. It is of vital importance to discern all choices from deep within your heart, not what anyone else suggests or says, though what resonates in your heart and what does not as new life unfolds. We are sincerely at the beginning of new life, our new life, and as such we must honor ourselves as sovereign beings and ask ourselves what is freedom and what is not. This is crucial, and of course, keeping our health and the health of each other. The grace of God is upon us and in Gaia. What a phenomenal feeling. Life and its circumstances will go on, though the treasure of freedom belongs to us. Keep your frequency and gratitude high, and please stay out of fear. If you feel it coming, shift it. Do everything in your power, light and love of God that you are to integrate and ground these codes and keep showering and speaking love and gratitude upon all into the crystalline body of Gaia to every kingdom upon her and unto yourself. Endless love to you, Maureen. And from Here in the Moon Astrology, Monday, April 20th, 2020, a heads up, feeling fritzed or flatlining, wired and tired, a surprise geomagnetic G1 class storm is underway. Earth's magnetic field is reverberating from the unexpected impact of a CME coronal mass ejection during the early hours of April 20th. G1 class geomagnetic storms with bright auroras sighted early today in Montana and Canada. This is the first geomagnetic storm of 2020. In fact, the last time storm levels reached G1 on NOAA storm scales was more than a year ago, March 16 to 17, 2019. Solar wind data suggests that the CME sideswiped Earth with a snowplow-like buildup of plasma shortly after 1300 UTC on April 20th. Earth's magnetic field is reverberating from the impact raising the possibility of more high-latitude auroras tonight. This coincides with the April 18th spike in the Earth's heartbeat, the Schumann Resonance. Remember, grounding, hydrating, and extra rest will help you to allow balance and integration of these new frequencies as the seismic window of Wednesday's Taurus new moon is now active. The sensations of lower timeline drop-off are consistent all as well. From here in the moon astrology dot co dot uk and from the Nengma Masters Trolshik Rinpoche. If your mind is pure, everyone is a Buddha. If your mind is impure, everyone is ordinary. Trolshik Rinpoche. And from Elizabeth Peru, the energy heat up. Have you noticed that global energy is buzzing? Ever since this weekend's huge 110 hertz spike in amplification of the Schumann resonance, base rate is 7.83 hertz, so we've received a loud wake-up call. Now if you're unsure of what to do with the rise in energy that you feel, why not put it to some good use and improve yourself? Choosing to criticize or blame others right now will not serve you well this week. There's a new moon coming this week on the 22. Are you feeling the life reset that's building amidst the seeming disruption you could feel disconnected? Yet there is so much opportunity to be more connected than ever. The great shift into the Aquarian era of light has been well underway since last June when the New Earth 5D Energy Template entered our Earth 
and it amplified at the eclipses in December and January. There's a very positive outcome on the horizon, as those with eyes to see beyond and above the seeming chaos know. From ElizabethPeru.com And today from the Zolkin Times, Ken 22, White Solar Wind. The number 9 is called Solar, and its keywords are Realizing, Intention, and Pulse. The number 9 in many ancient cultures is considered sacred, and in Zolkin, the ninth day is always very powerful. Shifting the energy of the wave spell into the highest gear. Fasten your seat belts for this number of intention means that whatever you want, you can get. If you work with this powerful energy, today is white wind, which represents communication, breath, and spirit. This means that messages today have a great deal of power. Be careful what you say. Be sincere and don't be misconstrued. Deliberate what you need to say as words can change lives. Write that letter, sing your song, have that conversation you have been putting off, ask for a raise, or contact someone you have been out of touch with. Today's guide is White Mirror, which represents reflecting truth. May your words today be guided by the intention to speak the truth. Sometimes it's hard to be honest, but clarity is vital. And the only way we can make progress on our path is by knowing the facts. Let the search for truth guide your actions today. From Christina Papa Giorgio, White Solar Wind, Kin 22, 20 April 2020, Pulsing Divine Intention, 20 4 2020, 2 4 22, 2 4 4 equal 10 equal 1, 20 The Great Awakening, 2020 Vision, 2 Partnership Cooperation Romance, 22 Master Builder Architect of Peace, 4 Form Structure Foundation Angelic, 10 Manifestation Authority Power, 1 New Beginnings Leader Unique, Kin 22 equal 4, Kin 22 is the Architect of Peace and Master Builder Frequency of our New Earth. As it is the year 2020 equal 22, we have a double 22 code operative today. Amplified divine intention for peace to reign on Mother Earth. As we enter the second day of the second column in the Zolkin, the two frequencies of harmony through cooperation and peace are amplified today. We have an abundance of 20 awakening codes and 22 builder codes. A very powerful New Earth Day of Divine Alchemy. Happy Galactic Birthday to Lloydine Arwillis Bolonik. The archetypal mother of the Dream Spell Codex, the galactic feminine high priestess of the new time, Lloydine co created the Dream Spell with her divine partner, Jose Arwillis, Volom Votan. Lloydine holds the 22 Architect of Peace and 4 Angelic Frequency. Her occult frequency was the Overtone Storm, which is today's superpower. So, Bologna's presence is very strongly guiding. These divine winds today on this precious holy day. Lloydine's galactic mission was to bring forth this powerful dream spell codex that is our planetary blueprint to navigate our way to manifesting new earth, a planet of peace, beauty, and harmony. Lloydine incarnated on earth to pulse forth the divine codes as a pure angelic messenger, a blessing to us all. Divine gratitude for your legacy, magical high priestess. If you're not living your own truth, it's going to catch up with you. There is a universal truth that is pulling us all forward. Lloydine Arwillis. Today, day 9 of the White Wizard Wave Spell continues our themes of magic, enchantment, and endlessness. Today, powerfully aligned with our spirit. Today the wizard has given us a super boost in accessing the breath of spirit to pulse forth these divine intentions through our precious heart, absolute purity in our connection to spirit, tone of creation, solar tone 9 in the spiritual realm, action, realizing, power to pulse, essence, intention, the ninth day of the white wizard, wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. We have a triple manifestation code today as we have the wizard's magic plus the solar tone of pulsing our intention and the 10 numerology of the day's code. So triple the power to manifest your realizations. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization. 
visualizing what we want to manifest and pulsing that intention from our pure heart assists us in making our dreams come true. You are the humanitarian whose dreams unfold a larger pattern of our new world. What enchanting dream are you pulsing forth into reality? Today is a very holy day in which the will of spirit overrides the will of man. Divine intention shall be realized through the divine communication that is flowing through us today. Divine will is pulsing throughout the cosmos. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come. The mirror of illusion is no more. All travelers are standing on the shore with eyes wide open now. Your challenge today is to surrender your human will and align with the higher divine will for the benefit of our planet and all humankind. We must unite together and pulse forth the highest intentions for our best utopian dreams to be realized. Today's question is, am I pulsing forth the true divine will of spirit that is endlessly communicating through my being? May the winds of heaven fill your sails and guide your boat safely to the tranquil shores of our new paradise. In La Kek a la Kin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 22, White Solar Wind, the mantra the code for today is, I pulse in order to communicate. Realizing breath, I seal the input of spirit with a solar tone of intention. I am guided by the power of endlessness. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And as we navigate as co-creators through the galactic activation portal that is fully open, it is the gateless gate, the doorway to heaven on earth, as we merge the internal with the external and external with the internal, 37 into 73, 73 into the 37, the 10, 10, portal into the 2020 to the 3030 and the 44 and the 55 and beyond beyond the 9th the 12th the 13th dimensional frequencies of the holy spirit of the christos consciousness we are fully activated the 144 code of freedom liberation and divinity fully activated in our dna the 12 strand crystalline dna totally activated, the prajna paramita, perfection of divine wisdom, through our pure consciousness, our pure will, our pure intent, through the clarity of our vision, our united vision of freedom on earth, total abundance, health, wellness, and body, mind, and spirit for all sentient beings to resolve and dissolve all suffering and all causes of suffering here now for eternity through our heart center and i'm going to end this transmission reading a paragraph from a book by one of the zen masters i've trained with many moons ago his name was kango roshi roshi is teacher guide master in japanese kango k-o-n-g-o is diamond in japanese the book is titled the diamond sword a collection of talks by Kango Roshi. Emptiness, as it is found in the Heart Sutra, is translated from Sanskrit, the word shunyata, meaning empty or void. Shunyata has no negative connotation. It is very positive, full, clear, empty. And again, empty of what? Empty of ego content. The beauty of Zazen, and Zazen is... Za sitting, Zen meditation, sitting meditation, and the real significance and validity of this practice is that it allows you to see unity amidst all this constant fluctuation and change. When these aggregates come into proper relationship, they settle. When they are not fed and fired by the fictitious ego, then you have real strength in your life. The natural state is at rest. The Tao Te Ching says the storm will never live out the day the ocean in its natural state isn't turbulent storms are the exception not the rule don't perpetuate this urge to satisfy some entity that doesn't exist we have continual internal turbulence and it grows and grows so suffering grows and grows 
Without something that opens the spiritual eye as Zazen does, I can't see how rest is possible. You can't solve life intellectually. We have tried that. You can't solve life materially. We all certainly have tried that. So, beloved beings of light, let us know in the comments below what you're seeing, what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your visions, your dreams, your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below and the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future uploads. And then the link in the description below is the transcription of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. We have over a thousand transmissions on Prime Disclosure. And you can connect with our team of the Divine 44 on Facebook. Go to Divine 44, Rainbow Tribe of the New Earth. And in this now moment, seek ye the kingdom of heaven within and realize your true nature which is the brilliant, indestructible, bright, eternal light of Source Creator. Keep walking your sacred path with heart, warriors of the light. I love you all. Namaste.